paper and some cat food. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. There's been a robbery. So I've got to walk all the way down to the news agents. Oh, I was making a delivery about seven this morning. So did you see anyone else in the building? Uh, now there was a car parked on the forecourt, but it moved off just before I went in. Can you describe it? I wasn't really paying any attention, but it's one of those uh, high performance jobs, you know. GTR maybe, um, uh, silver colour. No, oh, sorry mate, you can't park here. Oh, that's all right, keep an eye on the car for me, will you? Uh, what are you, some sort of comedian? Sometimes, but today I'm your new DS, Don Beach, all right? Oh, sorry, Sergeant, I didn't realise. And you are? PC Quinnan, Dave Quinnan. Okay. Oh, uh, Soko have requested not to use that door. So what do I do, climb through a window or what? There's a door around the back. Hello, Jane. Hello. It's rather a mess, I'm afraid. I don't hold out much hope for the tar marks. Should get some decent foot marks here. Probably trainers. Right. Catch you later. What's the girl's name? Nina. Yeah, it looks like we've got a lead on the car they used. Yeah, any sign of the new DS, yeah? Yeah, he's in there. It's been here about ten minutes. Well, why don't you tell me, Dave? Oi! Oi, not that way! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Sergeant. Uh, I got a lift. Uh, Nina, this is DC. Uh... Skase. Skase. Hello. All right. Go on. I was late for my shift, and I came in the back, and I heard this banging and crashing in the shop, and I went in, and the first thing I saw was Pat lying on the floor behind the counter. Pat Gibson's your employer, yeah? Yeah. And there was this other bloke in there, robbing the place, grabbing cash from the till. And then he just grabbed a few cartons of fags and he ran out of the shop. Was he carrying anything else? Yeah, he had this metal bar in his hand. I suppose I'm lucky he didn't use that on me. Can you describe him to me? I didn't see his face, he had a balaclava on. What colour? I don't know, I can't remember. Was he wearing a jacket? Maybe, I'm not sure. So, you can remember he was carrying a metal bar, but not if he was wearing a jacket, yeah? Yeah. I know, I'm sorry. My mind's gone blank. Must be the shock. He's only been here two days and you chuck him in at the deep end. Why not? I'm sure Beach can keep his head above water. Where is he today? Camber Road, the garage job. Who have you put with him? Lord Skase. Well, that should be an education for both of them. See, she gets home, all right. I'll be speaking to her later. Right, Sarge. How you doing, Jane? Can we come in? Yeah, I've finished everything up there. Anything? I'll need a check on Pat Gibson's fingerprints and Nina's. But by the looks of the till, looks as if the perpetrators wore gloves. Well, it's no sign of any damage. It doesn't look as though it's been forced. Anything else? There were some fibres caught on the cigarette shelves here. Looks like somebody may have snagged their jacket. But the best bet was the footmarks. Who else has been in here since the robbery? Uh, the girl assistant, a couple of paramedics, and uh, the milkman who found the ambulance. Yeah, all right. I'll get the picture. Thanks. Witness statements from the Glendale Hotel job. All 18 of them. So what give them to me? DI wants them checked through by refs. Thought we'd take half each. So what about Rod? He was on the case. He's off the new DS. Oh, great. I don't know. I think I prefer a quiet spot of paperwork. But you know Don Beach? I never met him until he came in here. I cut him. I'll keep it to yourself. Take a tip from the three wise monkeys. Donna, this is DS Beach. I need a name check on a Nina Collins. Copthorne Estate. Yeah, thanks. All right, call you back. Cheers. So you're not happy with Nina's memory problem, then? Who knows? A sensitive young girl like that gets an iron bar waved in her face. Minds play funny tricks. Sarge, you know we had a post office job on Gatley Road a couple of weeks ago. Same MO, metal bar, uses a weapon. Yeah. We got a tip from a snout. Looks like it could be down to a guy called Jason Miller. So you think Miller might have called in here this morning? Well, he's got to be our favourite, isn't he?
Jason Miller. Long time no see. Must be all of two weeks. Yeah, well, it's not long enough for me. It's DS Beach. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Nice set of wheels. All right, there's some in it. It's all legal. Can show you the papers. Had her out for a spin this morning? Can't afford the petrol. Engine feels warm. Been tuning it, ain't I? So where were you between seven and eight this morning, eh? Up there, in bed, asleep. Anyone vouch for that? Sorry. The night before would have been different. Still, a bloke's got to sleep sometime, hasn't he? Drives fast cars, lies in bed all morning. We're in the wrong job. Not still trying to fit me up for that post office job. You want to start catching real villains. Those trainers, they're your only pet. What if they are? The garage was done this morning and the owner was badly injured. We just want to eliminate you from our list of suspects. You want to take my trainers? Well, if you were here all morning, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? You think you can come round here, start helping yourself to my property? Still waiting for that tire leave you took last time. Yeah, well, friends, it's still got that. You'll get it back when they finish with it. I've told you they're wasting their time. Your trainers, Jason. You can put those on instead. Just had word from Joe Arnold. Says he might have something on Miller. You gonna meet him? I thought I'd send Don Beach. Isn't Arnold Rod's snout? Yeah, but Don knows him from way back. Well, we usually leave the stuff at reception and go straight down the pub. Yeah? Well, this way you get to meet a real live forensic scientist. So this Dr. What's his name? Is he a friend of yours? I'm still working on it. Dr. Kennard. Sergeant Beach, good morning. This is DC Rod's case. Sarah Kennard. Pleased to meet you. The garage robbery. A pair of trainers from our suspect, Jason Miller. Right. Well, at first glance, these do seem to have a similar sole pattern to the marks lifted from the petrol station. Sarah, I know someone of your particular talents always in great demand, but I'd appreciate a quick result on this one. Is there any good reason why I should change my schedule just to suit you? Well, our suspect's not very happy about losing his trainers. <laughs> All right, then. I'll see what I can do. Now? I'm sure the soccer will have warned you most of the trainer marks have been covered by other footmarks. But there is one here that may be useful. Just the one? We're lucky to have this in the circumstances. As you can see, it's been partially obscured. Who messed that up? One of the paramedics? Hard to say. Unless... Would you mind showing me your left sole? There's your probable culprit. You sure about that? If you give me the shoe, I can be certain. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? If you ask me nicely, I might take them both off for you. I only need the one. I'd say that's pretty conclusive, wouldn't you? One thing's for certain, that's not the way to impress Miss Kennard. Yeah, can we just drop it, Sarge, you know, get on with the job? Sure. All right, you go and have another chat with Nina. See if she's recovered her memory. Right, and what are you going to do? I'm going to have a chat with your snout. The one that gave you Miller for the post office job. What? You mean you know Joe Arnold? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit peckish. You do a good sandwich down the Alcatraz. Do they? Yeah. Well, it's just a little walk from Nina's flat, isn't it? So you can join me there later. Come on. How was I don't know. I thought it was another punter. Great first impressions, though. Well, his ghost was a bit out of his depth, wasn't it? Well, a bit. He didn't know what hit him. Had rooms been very busy with a DS's calls this morning. What, about the garage job? No, all personal. All women. <laughs> Only been here a couple of days. Well, I tell you what, I've never seen Socko looking so cheerful. Hello. I'm uh, DC Skase of Sunhill. I was looking for Nina Collins, is she? Nina! Feeling better, then? Yeah. I was thinking about what happened this morning and this all started to come back to me. Right, um, well, if you could start by trying to uh, describe the man you saw. That's all right, just take your time. 
think about it very carefully. Well, he was big, much bigger than Pat. What about his clothing? He had a green balaclava. It was dark green. Any jacket? Yeah, he had a navy blue jacket and um, dark jeans. Are you sure about all that? Yeah, and he had a pair of black leather gloves on. You notice what uh, kind of shoes he was wearing? No, I don't remember his feet. Did you notice a car at all? No. No, I didn't see a car. You're right. They do a good sandwich in there. Seen Joe Arnoldon? No. What about Nina? She come across? Oh, yeah. She made a remarkable recovery. Got a good eye for detail, has our Nina? For a vivid imagination. Why would she make it all up? Well, there must be a chance she knew the robber. Trying to throw us off the scent. Well, in any case, there's not enough there to get Miller. Sergeant. Hello, Joe. Long time no see. Nothing on the gutter's job. But I can tell you one thing. If you want Miller, you'll have to look sharp. Yeah? He was down the gym last night. Worried about his health. Says he wants to take a holiday. Did he say where? He's got tickets for the ferry. Where's he going? Can't tell you that. But if I were you, I wouldn't hang about. Anything else? He's got one more trouble. Oh, yeah? What sort of trouble? Block like him always has a couple on the go. Only it seems like one of them's turned sour on him. Any names? Sorry, I gave you a miller for the post office job. What more do you want? Hey, Joe! I'll see you. Yeah. Catch you later. Well, you know, that leaves us, don't you? Oh, yeah. As far up as you can get with half a footprint. Yeah, well, if your sight is friends as good as she looks. Well, let's go and find out, shall we? Because you wait a few minutes, time for me to grab a pint and a sandwich. Yeah, well, she might be able to wait, but I can't. Let's go. Yeah, finish that. You can see this sole does have a distinctive wear pattern on the heel, and there's a slight cut here, probably the result of accidental damage. Hi, Miller, it could be from somebody's teeth. If you look at our footmark, the area we're interested in has been covered by the mark left by you, DC Skase. Are you looking at this? Yeah. Even if I could separate the two marks, I doubt I'd find any useful detail. All right. What about the rest of the mark? Look at that. Isn't that clear enough? No good, I'm afraid. It could be any similar trainer. So what you're saying is, it could be Miller, but we can't prove it. Not from this. I'm sorry. Yeah, OK, Sarge. You don't have to say it. You know what this means, don't you? This lets Miller off the hook. No ID, no forensics. We can't touch him. So maybe this wouldn't stand up in court, but supposing you're asked to make a qualified guess. I'm not interested in guesswork. Only facts. So what about the fibres? They've been identified by our biologist as a grey synthetic material. Grey? That doesn't fit Nina's description. Could be from a ski jacket, something like it. Right, well, thank you, Sarah. Uh, don't go away, Sergeant. There is another lead we've been investigating. If you'd like to come through to the lab, I'll show you. Donna. Have you got the contact sheet for the Jasmine Allen? Inspector Monroe's got it, sir. Oh, sir, do you know where I can find D.S. Beach? Is it forensic? Why? Is it urgent? It's just that I've got some new information on Nina Collins, you know, the witness for the garage robbery. Well, you can always get him on his mobile. This is a sample spectrometer. It analyses paint samples. The tyre lever you found in Miller's garage after the post office raid. Now, there was no sign of any blood or tissue on it, but there is a small paint mark here at the end. Luckily for us, it was an old building. The door frame had been repainted several times, leaving a unique history of different layers which we can separate and identify. And how long will that take? The usual two weeks? No. You're already at the last layer. As you can see, all three top layers match. The last one, the fourth, is proving difficult. Sarah, an awful lot hangs on this, you know. I know. We're almost there. I'll try and get a result for you today. Well, she's full of surprises. Means we're still in with a chance. Don Beach. Donna Harris, Sarge. I've managed to track down your witness, Nina Collins. DVU have a file on her. She's known to be a girlfriend of a Clive Andrews who's got form for ABH. Also known to be friendly with Jason Miller. They all live on the Copthorne estate. All three of them hang out together. 
Seems like neither gets the rough end of the relationship. I've already told you everything. Have you thought about it carefully? Of course. I thought about nothing else. Well, there's no chance you could be mistaken, maybe about the colour of his clothing. What is this? Do you think I'm lying? Do you know a Jason Miller? Yeah, he lives on the estate. Now, have you seen him recently? Yeah, I've seen him around. Not to talk to. Nina. You've been through a nasty experience. But however bad it's been for you, Pat Gibson's down at St Hughes with a fractured skull. Now, I can see that you're a, a decent, sensible girl. And if you're lying to me about this robbery, you could get charged with perverting the course of justice. Now, that is a serious offence, OK? All right. I wasn't telling the truth. Right. Well, we can start again then, shall we? He threatened me. He smacked me in the face and told me to keep my mouth shut. Who are you talking about? Clive. It was him I caught robbing the till. Clive Andrews? Are you sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'd know him anywhere. Never mind his stupid balaclava. He's your boyfriend, isn't he? I don't know where you get your facts from, but you're out of date. I finished with him six months ago. Why didn't you tell us all this this morning? I was afraid of him. I know what he can do. This is just a sample. Would you be prepared to give evidence against him in court? Maybe. I, I'd have to think about it. Oh, one other thing. Are you sure you didn't see a car at the time of the robbery? That was the truth. I didn't see a car. Because a car was seen by a witness. Well, I don't know about that. A silver GTI fits the description of a car owned by Jason Miller. It's a bit of a funny coincidence, don't you think? I didn't see a car. Pleasure. Just had a word with a mate of mine at Barton Street. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a while back, one of Beach's cases went to appeal. Defendant claimed he'd been lent upon to make a confession. By Beach? Yeah, the appeal was dismissed, but uh, the feeling was that Beach had been sailing a bit close to the wind. Yeah, well, if we're talking about pre pace they were all at it. Just thought you might be interested. Clive Andrews, I'm DS Beach. This is DC Scase. We're investigating a robbery. Look, I've got an urgent appointment, right? You're in my way. Are you your only pair of trainers? What are you kinky about, Suze? Sergeant. Hey, careless of your Clive. And it's such a nice jacket. Why don't you keep your hands off me, eh? Do you mind if we come and have a look around? Party last night, Clive? Yeah, something like that. Look, you've got a warrant or what? Don't need a warrant, do we? You've got nothing to hide, we're just having a look around. West Ham United. Got a season ticket for them. Excuse me, Clive. Sarge. Don't you know these are bad for your health? Ain't no law against smoking. Still got the price tag on them. You know, I'd bet a week's pay they match the labels they use down at the garage. Clive Andrews, I'm arresting you for robbery. You don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but anything you do say may be given in evidence. You are nicked. I ain't saying nothing without my brief. Must be tricky pulling robberies without a motor car, eh? Do you reckon he caught a cab? No, he's caught a cold. <laughs> what are you, Tweedledum and Tweedledee? <laughs> <laughs> I was forgetting, he's got a mate with a GTI. Perhaps it was Jason that planned the whole thing, eh? Yeah, and you know what? I reckon Jason's the one with the brain. You ain't gonna get nothing out of me. Yeah, well, you can sit in a cell and think about it. Maybe you change your mind, eh? Just make sure you get me in my brief, yeah? Yeah, don't worry. I'll be sorted down the station. Look after him, Rod. I'll be back in a minute. Nina! Nina! Leave me alone! What were you doing here, eh? You were going to tip him off? No. I had to see for myself. I had to be sure. Look, we still need your help. You got Clive. You got what you wanted. 
But if you were to give evidence against him in court, it would help us convict him. All right, I'll get up and say whatever you want. Just the truth, Nina, that's oh, it. I hope he goes down for good, the lousy pig. What about Jason Miller? Have you brought Andrews in? Yeah. He'll go down all right. It's the other one I want. Jason Miller? Yeah, the trouble is, I think he's planning a little holiday. I hear you've got a body then, Sarge. Yeah, well, sort of, uh, but keep the champagne on ice. So, the foot marks won't hold up in court. How's your scientist friend getting on with the tire lever? Nothing definite yet, Gov. We're still waiting. It's not looking good, is it? No, I'd like to stay with the Gov. Now that we've pulled in Andrews, Miller must be getting nervous. If he steps out of line, we'll pick him up. If? OK. So what are we waiting for, Sarge? We're waiting for Jason Miller. We're waiting for him to do what? We know he's going to do a runner, but we don't know when, right? Sorry. Or do we? I'm arresting you for assault. You, you don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. She's a liar. Shut bitch. your mouth. I would like to say this, son. You better get you to the hospital, all right? <laughs> so, Nina Collins came out with the goods on Miller. Yeah, I reckon she saw the light when he ran off with her best friend. And no need for one of his confessions this time, eh? Hi, lads. Two Bocker and Tonics, Colin. It's all in here. There's no doubt that your tire lever was used in the post office robbery. Thanks. So, can I buy you a drink? Thanks, but no. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Keep on your toes next time, or wear overshoes. If it goes to prosecution, I look forward to seeing you in court. Not bad for starters. <laughs> <laughs> 